Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to crochet this very cute roller skating keychain. The materials are listed at the beginning of the video. So get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start with the chain 15. I already did that and now starting in the second chain from the hook We are going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 14 single crochet So we're going to skip here and start in the second chain and we'll do single crochet in every stitch across Okay, so continue doing single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so when we get to the end, we are going to do a chain one and turn. Now in the second row, we are going to do single crochet all the way until we have one stitch left here at the end. So we are going to continue and do single crochet. in every stitch and you'll do single crochet until you have the last stitch here left okay so when we get to the last stitch we are going to increase so we are going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. So we'll do single crochet and another single crochet in the same stitch. So now we have 15 single crochets. So we'll do chain one and turn. Now in the third row, we are going to do single crochets all the way to the end. So we'll have 15 single crochets. So we'll continue and do single crochets. And continue doing single crochets all the way to the end. So when you get to the end, we are going to do chain one and turn. And now in this row, which is row four, we're going to do single crochets all the way until we have two stitches left at the end. So we are going to continue and do single crochets. And continue doing single crochets until you have the last two stitches left here at the end. Okay, so now in the last two stitches, we are going to decrease like that. So we'll have 13 stitches in that row and then we'll do chain one and turn. So now in the fifth row, we are going to start by decreasing. So we'll decrease. And then we'll do single crochets in the remaining 12 stitches. So we'll continue and do single crochet in all the remaining stitches. So continue with single crochets all the way to the end. 
okay so when we get to the end we are going to do chain one and turn so now in the sixth row we are going to do single crochets in the next nine stitches so we are going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then we are going to decrease so we have a total of 10 stitches then we'll do chain one and turn so now in the seventh row we are going to do single crochets all the way across so we'll have a total of 10 single crochets so continue and do single crochet all the way until you get to the end okay so now in the uh, when you get to the end we are going to do chain one and turn now in the eighth row we are going to start by doing eight single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight and then we are going to decrease at the end okay and then we'll do chain one and turn now in the ninth row we are going to do single crochets all the way across for a total of nine single crochets so continue and do single crochets all the way to the end okay so when you get to the end we're going to do chain one and turn now in the tenth row we are going to start by doing single crochet in the next seven stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and seven and then we'll decrease in the last two stitches so decrease and then we'll do chain one and turn okay so now in the next uh, three rows which is row 11 12 and 13 we're going to do single crochets all the way across in each row for a total of eight single crochets so in the 11th row we're just going to do single crochets okay and do that all the way to the end when you get to the end do chain one and do again single crochets across until you ha you get to the 13th row and then after that we'll finish up together okay so when you get to the end of the 13th row we're going to do chain one and cut off the yarn okay so this is how our little uh skate boot looks like so now i'm going to make the blue part at the bottom and what i'll do is i'll attach my yarn at the end here like that and then i'll do a chain one and then starting in the next stitch i'll continue and do single crochet single crochet
and I'll continue doing single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, I'm going to do chain one and cut off the yarn. Okay, so I'm going to make another one exactly way that we made this one the exact way because we're going to join them together like this and then stuff it a little bit before we close it off so that we can have a little bit of volume okay so make another one like this and then I'm gonna show you how to make the wheels okay so for the wheels I'm going to use the green and yellow yarn and starting with the green yarn I'm going to start by doing a magic ring and then I'll do four single crochets into the magic ring. So I'll do one, two, three, and four. And then I'll pull off the yarn to close the gap like that a little bit. Okay, and then I'll place my marker over here. Okay, so now in the second row, I'm going to do two single crochet in each stitch. So we'll have uh, eight single crochets. So I'll increase in the first stitch. Then increase in the next one. Increase in the next. And increase in the last stitch. Okay, and then now. Uh, then now we're going to switch to the yellow stitch okay so I'm just going to attach the yellow uh, yellow yarn sorry okay so now I've attached the yellow yarn so I just did a simple knot now in the third row which is the last row of the wheel we are going to start by doing single crochet and then increase in the next stitch And then we'll do again single crochet and increase in the next stitch then again single crochet increase And then single crochet and increase okay and then I'll remove my marker and then slip stitch in the next stitch and slip just to make it neat I'll just also go to the next stitch and slip stitch then I'll cut off the yarn. And now we are going to do the finishing. So you'll make another one like this. So we are going to have two wheels. If you want four on this side and this side and the other side, you can do four. But for my case, I'll just do two like this one and here. Okay. So now let's attach the parts together and we are going to start by attaching the pink part. Okay, so I'll just put the two parts together, make sure they are adjacent to each other and starting from here where the pink starts, I just attach my pink yarn 
and do a chain one and then i'll go into the next stitch here and do single crochet go into the next stitch do single crochet then do single crochet go into the next one again single crochet and we'll continue doing single crochet in both parts continue like that all the way until you get here okay so guys as you can see i've already finished doing my single crochets across so this is how our boot looks like so i changed the blue yarn when i got to the bottom and i put a little bit of fiber fill as you can see just to give it a little bit of volume so i'm just going to continue doing single crochets uh, using the blue yarn and I'll start over here so I'll just do single crochet all the way Okay, so when you get to the end, I'm going to do, sorry, when you get to the end, I'm going to do chain one and cut off the yarn, like that. Okay, so now we're just going to do a finish off. Like that and then I'll cut off the yarn later and now we are going to just attach the wheels here right here so you can use a fabric glue or you can just attach them using a needle and a yarn so I'm just going to use a needle and a yarn as you can see so cute like that and then after that I'll just made uh, this chain long enough i didn't exactly count the chains and i just um made one long enough that can go across so i'll just put it here across and tie it off or you can attach it using a fabric glue whichever way goes good for you so you can attach it like this using glue or or also you can use just yarn and needle to attach it okay so let's join all the parts together and see what it looks like okay so guys as you can see I've already done attaching all my parts together I attached the wheels at the very bottom one at the, this end and one on the other end and then here I put uh, my chain uh, across all the ends you can see and this other side 
and then I tied it at the top just like that and that's it guys that's our little roller skate so you can put your keychain over here you can hang it in your car or it could be a gift to someone who likes roller skating so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe until next time bye